Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The chamber is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And I give the floor to the co-prosecutor co to put questions to the expert. You may now proceed. Vous avez la parole. Thank you and good afternoon, Mr. President, Merci. Council, Bonjour, civil Monsieur parties, and Mr. Expert. Confrères. Professor, Monsieur uh, this is a criminal trial, Bonjour. and I would like to begin my questions by focusing a Je bit on the crimes charged en in this case. Sur les I know you said you're only partly familiar, but among the crimes charged Donc, vous que were murders, les executions, le meurtre, exterminations of and purges of enemies at places like S21, the tool slang prison, S21, and other security slang, centers throughout the country, purges of the East Zone soldiers, and purges of various groups like former Lon Nol soldiers. Mr. Nunchea, in a uh, book Monsieur that has been quoted Nunchea, a few months ago by his counsel, uh, that's E3-4202, the RN is 0075752. He's quoted it. The book says Nunchia doesn't apologize for S21, even though his niece and others close to him were sent there. Professor, in your research, did you ever come across anything to indicate that the DK authorities put any of these people that they imprisoned or executed on trial before any court of law? Ils les ont passés en jugement devant un tribunal quelconque. Just as uh, I have been interrupted all the time, Mr. President, I would like to have the ERN number, tout le temps. Pour cela, yes, avoir, uh, I gave the ERN number. Yes, counsel, I gave the ERN number. Just read out. Just read it 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 out. I'd be happy to give it to you again. It's 0075 so, sir, I'm just reminding you for the Khmer and the French ERNs. La défense, qu'en est-il des ERN en Khmer et en français? C'est sur cela que porte nos questions. L'accusation, très bien. Nous allons les retrouver pour vous. Sir, the question, and again, please wait for the microphone light. La question is: Did you come across any evidence in your research that the Khmer Rouge put any of these individuals that were detained or executed on trial? devant any court. un tribunal, toutes ces personnes arrêtées et exécutées. In my research, I did not come upon any evidence that dans ma recherche, je n'ai trouvé aucune preuve que les personnes exécutées aient été passées en jugement devant quelconque tribunal. Professor, in your research, particularly in the Soviet archives and research of what the Soviets had of Vietnamese documents, did you find any evidence that among the thousands detained at places like S21 and Prang Chan, that these people were any evidence to support the DK's allegations that these people were in fact Vietnamese spies or traitors? Uh, no, I did not come upon any evidence non. to show that the, any of the people executed were Vietnamese spies or traitors, although I must point out that I did not, uh, I was not specifically researching on that subject. Thank you, and that's true of many of the questions you were asked this morning. Mm -hmm. You weren't specifically researching on all of these topics, is that correct? Uh, well, the general topic I was researching on, but uh, I was not familiar with all of the material. Oui, de tout so I'd now document. like to uh, read to you another speech by Nunchea. This is at E3 slash 196. In English, the ERN is 00762 In Khmer, it's 0022. 4473 and the next page. And in French, 0028 
begins at the bottom of 0674. This is a speech of Nun Chea dated the 30th of July 1978. And I'd like to get your reaction to the reasonableness of his statements. In the speech, he indicates it is more widely known that the USA planned to seize power from us six months after liberation. The plan involved joint action on the part of the USA, the KGB, and Vietnam. And he goes on to say, at the end of that paragraph, we know the current plan involves not only Vietnamese agents, but has something to do with US imperialism and KGB, all of them. Can you react to the reasonableness of Nun Chea's uh, statement in this speech? Sur le caractère raisonnable des déclarations de Nun Chea. That strikes me as a very bizarre and paranoid uh, explanation of what was happening. The idea that the United States would be cooperating with the cooperating. Soviet Union Avec and its intelligence services, the KGB, at a time of tension between the United States and the Soviet Union, seems to me absurd. But I might point out that this kind of cons construction of conspiracies is not peculiar to democratic Campuchia. It's been a feature of most uh, totalitarian states like the Soviet Union, like China, of, um, mixing together people of completely disparate uh, intentions, ideologies, and purposes as part of a fantastic conspiracy. So I'd like you to comment. I don't think you didn't go into any depth in your answer about one particular aspect of the statement. And that is U.S. cooperation with Vietnam during the DK period, so from April 1975 until January 1979. Can you explain to the court what was the state of the United States relations with Vietnam? Mr. President, I object to this uh, question and also the previous question. Um, prosecution is, uh, uh, misleading the expert uh, in relation to uh, that speech. Uh, it is very well known that the words CIA and KGB are code words for uh, agents working on the one hand for the Soviet Union in Vietnam and on the other hand um, agents working uh, for the CIA. Uh, they don't mean CIA or KGB itself. Plus, I must say, this is not a speech that was written down um, uh, by the CPK. It is a translation uh, by the Danish um, Communist um, Party visitor, uh, and subsequently from his handwritten notes translated into Danish and English. Uh, so to say that these are literal quotes from Nunchia is incorrect. Your Honor, uh, Mr. Kope, is not, should not be testifying. Le we certainly, if he wants to testify, would love to cross-examine him. Et His claims that these things are well known, that KGB demain, doesn't mean KGB, and CIA doesn't mean CIA, we think is absolutely KGB unsupported soir, by the evidence. But what he's Mais done, what we're doing, what I'm doing right now, is I'm wasting the time to examine the expert because I'm responding to something that's not related to my question. Car, uh, Sir, I think you remember the question. So, Professor, if you could Wait for the microphone, Monsieur light, and please give us your answer. Vous pouvez nous donner votre réponse après que le voyant lumineux President, the objection by counsel Victor Cope is overruled. The question by the co-prosecutor is relevant. Therefore, the expert, please give your answer. L'espère. Uh, yes. Uh, during this time period that you're referring to, Vietnamese-American relations were extremely cold. Um, there was uh, one attempt to break the ice by the Carter administration, I believe, in 1978. But uh, apart from that, which amounted to very little, um, there was no cooperation. Uh, in fact, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was in 1979 that there was an espionage trial. Uh, act activity undertaken by uh, somebody who was an agent of Vietnam uh, against the United States. Um, so uh, 
there was no closeness of relationship between the Vietnamese government and the United States government. On the contrary, it was an extremely unfriendly relationship. Was the issue of Vietnamese cooperation with Americans missing in action an issue during this period of time? avait disparu, était-elle une question litigieuse à l'époque, disparu au cours de mission? Yes, it was. Réponse oui. Was there also a dispute question. about Vietnamese un, un claims that uh, the Nixon administration had promised them a massive amount of aid at the conclusion of the peace treaty that was not delivered? Après la conclusion du traité de paix, que cette aide n'a pas été fournie. Yes, it's, it's true. There was a dispute, a major dispute between the two countries, the United States and the Socialist Republic of Vietnam over the delivery of aid which was not delivered. Um, uh, that was a matter of contention between the two countries. You were asked this morning Question about DK relations with Thailand, and I would just like to bring to your attention another document in this case, and that is E3-8177. Actually, I'll skip that because I only have the English ERN, and I think Council wants us to have the Khmer and French ERN, so I'll ask that to be looked up. And I'll come back to that perhaps later. Sir, one of the points you write on page 98 of your book in English, the ERN is 01001765, and on to the next page, is the following. You said that, according to the deputy military commander of Vietnam's Tainan province, during April and May 1977, the Khmer Rouge forces had carried out systematic attacks upon Vietnamese border villages, making it impossible for Vietnamese peasants to work there. The Vietnamese side claimed that it then offered to settle the border question peacefully with the Khmer Rouge, but the offer was refused. According to the Khmer Rouge, according to the Vietnamese, the Khmer Rouge is then concentrated up to two divisions on the border adjacent to Tainin. And in the middle of May, these forces undertook massive attacks upon Vietnamese territory. Do you recall writing this? Yes, I do. Can you tell us um, what you know about what was the reason the Khmer Rouge carried out the attack, if you had have know of any reason? I don't know of any reason why they carried out the attack. I don't know of any reason why they carried out the attack. One can speculate on what the motives were, but I don't know of any objective uh, situation of conflict emanating from the Vietnamese side which might have led to that attack. Were there, you, you've been quoted reports, uh, your own writing, the writing of Nayan Chanda, or other academics about these attacks by Khmer Rouge forces into Vietnam. Are there similar reports about Vietnamese attacks before April 1977, not speaking about the islands uh, into Cambodia? No, I'm not aware of any such reports. Sir, are you familiar 
changing topic a bit with an organization known as Fulro. Connaissez-vous une, orga une organisation appelée yes. le Fulro? Réponse oui. Do you know if the Fulro received support from the Khmer Rouge? Les Fulro recevaient un soutien des Khmer Rouge. Yes, I think they may have. Réponse oui, But probablement. Okay, let me read to you. Um, Très bien, je vais vous donner lecture. The book by Nayan Chanda. De l'ouvrage de Nayan Chanda. The ERN in ERN English, en English is 00192282. Uh, and in French, en it's 00236990. There's not a Khmer translation. De version Khmer. Chanda wrote. The successes achieved by his men in destroying Vietnamese villages and massacring civilians in surprise raids since April 1977 and the lack of Vietnamese response might well have boosted Pol Pot's confidence. The fact that Hanoi faced a severe food crisis, deep social malaise in the South, and armed resistance from different groups at least one of which, the United Armée, Front for the Struggle of Oppressed pe Races, Fulro, received material Unis, support from the Khmer Rouge, might have also emboldened the Khmer Rouge to challenge Vietnam. Would you comment on Chanda's analysis about whether Vietnam's own internal problems could have influenced Pol Pot to believe in the DK leadership that they could be successful in attacking Vietnam. Que les dirigeants cambodgiens pourraient réussir à attaquer le Vietnam. I think that um, belief that there was some kind of uh, there was some kind of internal problems Je in pense Vietnam y avait may des have influenced Pol Pot. Avec le Vietnam qui um, aurait pu influencer Pol Pot. However, I, I suspect that. Um, he was behaving in a rather paranoid way in response to what he thought were enemies with inside the party and attributing any potential opposition, actual, real or imagined, to Vietnam and therefore trying to show uh, a reaction to what he perceived to be threats. Um, Mr. President, short observation. Um, La défense, also, um, on behalf of my uh, national colleague, uh, Chanda has been translated into Khmer completely. There is a full Khmer translation Khmer, of uh, Chanda, so I would appreciate if we also get the Khmer. Khmer. Uh, Mr. Kope, you are aware that we have Mr. given Kope, you a lot of leniency when it came to Kope, references. Now, I have no objection to what you are saying, but please expect to be held to the same standard in the future. My, my apologies, uh, and I have been handed Donc, some of these ERNs. First, for the Je first quote I gave about Nunchia, not apologizing for S21, the French is 00849. 415. Chanda, the Chanda, quote I just gave, the Kamai ERN is 00191415. Uh, that's, that's the same ERN, so I'm going to have to double check. We'll double check that. Sir, uh, I'd now like to ask you about. Monsieur these attacks in April and May. From the information of your research from what you learned from Chanda and other sources, did these Khmer Rouge attacks into Vietnam concentrate only on military targets or were civilians targeted? Thank you, Mr. President. 
un expert hein, qui dépose et que, euh, a priori on peut parler de beaucoup de choses. Uh, en revanche, we là, um, things. On le thème hand, que va aborder M. le procureur, s'il s'agit des instructions uh, 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 de l'armée uh, du camp de la démocratique sur le territoire vietnamien est exclue du champ uh, du procès 02 Bardeux. Donc uh, là, nous demandons à l'expert de donner des informations à la Chambre sur des faits qui ne sont pas inclus dans la présente procédure. Il est demandé à l'expert de donner des informations qui ne sont pas dans le scope de ce procès, donc je m'objecte à la question. A good part, perhaps the principal part, as I understood, of the defense examination of this witness was asking why Vietnam invaded Cambodia. So the commission of atrocities against Vietnamese civilians is extremely relevant to that point, among others. President, the objection is overruled. The question is very relevant. La question est très pertinente. Therefore, it can be posed to the expert. Peut être posé à the question did not uh, ask uh, for the uh, battle in, in Vietnam. La question pas sur la bataille au Vietnam, sur les combats au Vietnam. Let me read the portion of what the expert wrote that I'm asking about. And this is from ERN 01001765. In your own Book, de votre Mr. Propre Morris, ouvrage, Professor Morris, Monsieur you wrote Morris, that on April 30th, 1977, the Khmer Rouge units attacked several villages and towns in Anjiang and Chagdok provinces Chai of southern Chai Vietnam, Vietnam, burning houses and killing hundreds of civilians. So my question uh, is about the targeting of civilians in these attacks sur, uh, inside Vietnam. Did you, from your research, from what you've read of others, did you determine whether or not civilians were specifically targeted by the Khmer Rouge? I believe that in these attacks, civilians were deliberately targeted by the Khmer Rouge. I'm not aware of military targets in the areas where the attacks took place. Thank you. In Chanda's book, Brother Enemy, at ERN 001-92272, and Khmer, the ERN is 001-91402, and in French, 00236981, at the bottom of that page, he said that on that night of April 30th, 1977, the Khmer Rouge had attacked a string of villages and townships in Anjiang province. He wrote that the killing civilians and burning down houses. He wrote that the attack on Tien Bien township alone, of course my pronunciation is, I'm sure, I have no idea how close I'm going had caused about a hundred civilian deaths. Chanda goes on to write, Chanda although the Cambodians had in fact been raiding Vietnam's border provinces since January 1977, their choice, their choice of April 30th to launch the most vicious attack to date was rich with symbolism. Can you explain that comment? Do you understand what Chanda's point is and tell us what, whether you agree with it? Yes, uh, April 30th was the anniversary, the second anniversary of the conquest of South Vietnam by North Vietnam, by the Communist Party of Vietnam, and therefore to have staged an attack against Vietnamese villages on April 30th was an attempt to uh, discredit or cast uh, um, an unpleasant uh, aroma around the anniversary. Thank you. I understand from my colleague that there may have been a, the uh, translators may not have understood me and translated the date that Chanda wrote about that attack as being 13 April. In fact, I said 30 April. 
Uh, did you ever meet or know this Hungarian journalist, Kandor Dura? Connaissez-vous Kandor Dura, un journaliste no. hongrois? Réponse and non. What did, how did you learn about uh, his own experiences Comment in Vietnam? Comment avez-vous appris son expérience au Vietnam? Um, his experiences were reported first by Chanda, by Nayan Chanda, and uh, then there I found evidence to support it uh, in the Soviet archives. Pour, uh, cela dans les archives Thank you. So in your book Chanda. at the ERN 1766, you write at the bottom of the page about Chanda Dora's visit to Tainan, where you said he witnessed many ruined buildings and many dead and burned people, mainly women and children. Now, was Chan Chanda Dora, Kandor Dora, excuse me, allowed to report on that at that time? Uh, I object to this question because um, um, the prosecution seems to suggest that this evidence is about uh, an alleged Viet, uh, Cambodian attack on the 30th of April 77. However, uh, the Hungarian journalist, together with uh, Chanda and a uh, Dutch journalist, Van Wolver, visited um, Vietnam in uh, March um, or February or March 78. So the two have nothing to do with each other. In fact, I did not give the dates of that uh, visit, but I can do that. And it begins on page, on this page I quoted, 01001766. He wrote that on September 27th, 1977, Pol Pot openly declared the existence of the CPK. The message was sent after hundreds of Vietnamese civilians had been massacred in Khmer Rouge raids on September 24th. So I think that is important to point out, and I thank Council for that. These are actually talking about raids in September 1977. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Réponse oui. So these are separate from the raids that we Donc, talked about previously in April. Can you tell avril. us uh, how did Kandor Dura Kandor get to observe Dura, the aftermath of those attacks? And what happened to his attacks. reporting? Et qu'est-il arrivé des informations qu'il a rapportées La défense, encore une fois, ce n'est pas vrai. Apparemment, il y a eu aussi des attaques en février-mars 78. Encore une fois, c'est une période de cinq ou six mois. Ça, ce sont deux choses complètement différentes. Uh, I appreciate that there are so many attacks of, uh, by the Khmer Rouge into Khmer Vietnam that one could be confused, but it appears from the order that Vietnam, you gave this in your book si perdre, that these are related to the September attacks. Livre, I, professor, can you comment on that? De septembre. Professor, votre commentaire? Yes, initially the Réponse. Hungarian début, journalist to whom you refer quand uh, Dora en question a pris des notes et des photos. Uh, and then the Ensuite, asked him not les Vietnamiens lui ont demandé de ne pas en parler. Ses photos et ses notes ont été confisquées et remises plus tard, restituées plus tard. In fact, you write on the next page from the one that I mentioned that suivante, vous écrivez autre chose. Um, Yet on October 1st, the situation totally changed. The Vietnamese demanded that Dura hand over all his materials. At the end of the paragraph, you say the Hanoi leaders suppressed the evidence until the end of 1977, when the journalist's notes, films, and other materials were returned. So is it clear to you that you were talking about a visit in late September 1977 by this Hungarian journalist? Autre chose que c'est lié à fin septembre 77. 
Yes, it seems to me that this was oui, uh, fairly clearly a reference to events that took place in September 1977. Mentionné comme des événements ayant eu lieu en septembre 1977. Now, Nayan Chanda Question. writes about Nayan his own Chanda visit to border areas in March 1978. And this is at English page 001924045. Into the next page et suivante, in Khmer, Khmer, two pages beginning 001915555. Et en and in French, again, two pages, 00237083. Chanda wrote, writes about his uh, March visit in place after place along the border. We saw villages in ruins, Nous avons vu des villages abandoned en paddy ruines, fields, des and hundreds of graves. Et des centaines de From survivors, tombes. we heard unprompted des stories Nous of medieval atrocities. Ce qui passé. Les there was no longer médiévales. any doubt in my mind about the reality en moi quant of this bitter conflict de ce that conflit the Vietnamese had kept out of the public view for so long. So a couple questions about Quelques that. Questions. First, Premièrement, can you explain why Vietnam would have wanted to suppress, le Vietnam for at least a time period, the evidence of the Khmer Rouge crossing their borders and committing atrocities de against Vietnamese Khmer Rouge, civilians? Ont commis des atrocités contre des civils. Vietnamien. I think that they Réponse. may have thought Ils that se sont this was something that needed to be resolved que cela devait être réglé the record, de façon officieuse uh, that they may have sans que le public that, le sache. Uh, Peut-être ont-ils cru que cela avait été fait au nom de commandants locaux qu'on leur demande et donc ils ont attendu de voir uh, comment les autorités de Phnom Penh auraient contenu ces chefs locaux. Je pense que les Vietnamiens n'ont pas voulu s'impliquer dans un conflit avec les Cambodgiens concernant ces problèmes à ce moment-là. En tout cas, publiquement, ils ont pu se dire qu'ils allaient régler ça discrètement. Secrètement. Question. Qu'est-ce que cela vous fait penser concernant l'intention des Vietnamiens de négocier ou de ne pas le faire. Réponse. I think, uh, the Vietnamese were Selon moi, to negotiate les Vietnamiens avaient uh, l'intention de négocier uh, pour attacks. essayer de mettre un terme à ces attaques. Now you were asked this Question. Morning about Ce matin, on vous a lu quelques déclarations et on vous a demandé si elles étaient raisonnables. J'aimerais vous interroger sur les attaques, les incursions en territoire vietnamien, les atrocités commises contre des civils. À votre avis, est-ce que cela était raisonnable Pouvez-vous répéter la question La réponse Le président veuille attendre. Expert, please hold on. Could you repeat Réponse. the question, please? Pouvez-vous répéter la question? This morning, question. You were Ce matin, read a few on vous a lu quelques extraits choisis de déclarations de chefs du cadet. Et on vous a demandé si ces différentes déclarations étaient raisonnables. À présent, je vous demande si les actes commis par les autorités du cadet in, in these attacks across the border, ces attaques transfrontalières, where civilians were specifically targeted, des civils were reasonable ont été ciblés, était raisonnable selon vous. I don't believe that attacks on Réponse. innocent civilians were reasonable. Je ne pense pas reasonable. que des attaques contre des civils innocents aient été raisonnable. Now, he said it might have been, you don't know whether or not this was a local initiative. Peut-être que ça a été une initiative locale. Avez-vous jamais examiné des télégrammes envoyés par des ambassadeurs du cadet à Hanoï à Pol Pot et à d'autres chefs concernant les doléances des Vietnamiens en rapport avec ces attaques I don't recall. Réponse. Perhaps Je n'en ai pas souvenir l'accusation. Peut-être que nous aurons le temps d'examiner certains de ces documents. There's another person who's written about Une autre these personne attacks, a écrit sur ces attaques. C'est Kyu Sampan. 
in document E3. Thank you. In document E3, Donc, E3, 18, E3 slash 18, bar 18, at English 0010-3759, and on to the next page, et page suivante, in Kamai at 0010-3849, to the next page, et page suivante, and in French at 0095-446, and to the next page. Kuk Sampan describes how he claims he only became aware about the, these attacks after après he surrendered in the late 1990s. Fin des années 90, qu'il a appris l'existence de ces attaques. C'est ce qu'il prétend. Et s'agissant de fin avril 1977 et de l'attaque contre le village de Tianjin, province de Hanjian en particulier, il dit ceci. D'après certaines sources, d'après 79, il a appris que. Il dit qu'il y a eu des attaques à Tianjin et à Hatien fin septembre. Les événements rapportés sont irréfutables. Il ne fait aucun doute que les Khmer Rouges ont fait des incursions dans des villages vietnamiens dans la frontière commettant des crimes atroces contre des civils vietnamiens. Est-ce que vous pensez, comme que s'en pense, que ces preuves étaient et sont irréfutables. Yes, I agree. Oui, je suis d'accord. I'd like to ask you about something you wrote on page 98 of your book. Page 98 de votre livre. Is 1765. You said that in April 1977, on the occasion of the second anniversary of the liberation of Phnom Penh, the government controlled media in Hanoi offered congratulations and praise to the DK regime. But this goodwill gesture reaped no beneficial consequences for Vietnam. The Khmer Rouge deliberately chose the second anniversary of the Vietnamese communist conquest of South Vietnam to leave a bloody calling card. And then you talk about those April 30th attacks. Did you come across evidence that the Vietnamese authorities were trying to aurait lower tenté the tension in the conflict, de faire baisser les tensions take the conflict from the battlefield pour to que le conflit ne se déroule plus sur le champ de bataille, mais plutôt pour qu'il y ait des négociations. I think that was true in 1977. Je pense que c'était vrai en 1977. You also wrote on the same page that on September 27th, 77, the Pol Pot openly declared the existence of the Communist Party. The Central Committee of Vietnam sent a message of congratulations parti, publicly expressing its joy. It said, interestingly, interestingly, this allégresse. message was sent after hundreds of Vietnamese civilians have been massacred on September 24. Is this further evidence of what you're talking about? Dans des raids de le 24 septembre. Is this further evidence of what you're talking about? Ce sont de nouveaux éléments de preuve qui vont dans le même sens. À savoir qu'en 1977, septembre 1977, les Vietnamiens espéraient que le conflit puisse baisser en intensité et donner lieu à des pourparlers. Yes, that's my opinion. Réponse. Oui, tel est mon avis.
Question. Autre document. And this is E3 7338. C'est votre livre. The URN is 01001768. And in this particular passage, you're describing Ici, a discussion on the 6th of October, 77, between les douanes, les douanes and the Soviet ambassador to Hanoi, Hanoi about Vietnam's reaction to the 24th September massacres massacres in Tainan dans la province de Tainan. You wrote, quote, vous ceci, after noting the massacres of Vietnamese women and children by the Khmer Rouge, par les Khmer Rouge de les douanes noted that the Vietnamese, Vietnamese army had the capability to route the Kampuchean army quickly. La capacité de défaire rapidement l'armée du Cambodge. Vietnam's response, according to Lake Duan, Vietnam, was to display patience a été de faire and attempt de to find a peaceful de resolution de of all questions, questions with Cambodia. Cambodia. First, would you agree with Lake Duan? Was he telling the truth? Avec les douanes, when he said Vietnam, vérité, quand il affirme Vietnam had the capability to route the DK forces quickly if they had wanted to. Vietnam avait la capacité de rapidement les forces du KD si telle en était la volonté. Yes, I agree. Réponse. Oui, je suis d'accord. Okay, we'll come back Question. a little bit Nous and go into a little bit more depth on the disparity of forces. Sur la but again, différence uh, entre les forces en présence, mais donc, vous pensez que les douanes, le 6 octobre 1977, faisaient encore preuve d'une volonté de trouver un règlement pacifique du problème avec le KD avant de recourir à la force Réponse. Oui, je suis d'accord. On page 102, and that's ERN 01001769, you wrote that on December 31st, 1977, the government of the Democratic Kampuchea announced that it was temporarily le président Interron. Il n'y a pas d'interprétation en Khmer. Allez-y. L'accusation. Thank you. You Merci. wrote on this page 102 that on Le 31 décembre 1977, qu'il severing diplomatic relations provisoirement les relations diplomatiques avec la RSV. Pending the withdrawal of the quote, aggressive forces unquote, of the SRV du territoire de la from the quote, RSV, sacred territory of democratic Kampuchea, unquote. Du retrait de ces forces de cette république, said, du you, you territoire sacré du Kadé, et ensuite, et ensuite, que s'en prend au nom du gouvernement cambodgien, a lu un discours à ce moment Now, sur l'agression vietnamienne. Pour mettre ceci dans son contexte, la rupture des relations diplomatiques la dernière journée that, de l'année 1977, eh bien, quelque chose avait eu lieu avant, à savoir une attaque vietnamienne en territoire cambodgien. Est-ce exact Yes, that's correct. Réponse, oui. And can you tell us a little bit about this attack? Pouvez-vous nous parler de cette attaque? The uh, Vietnamese uh, launched an offensive. Les Vietnamiens ont lancé une offensive. Led to the capturing of a number of Khmer Rouge soldiers. A la capture d'un certain nombre de soldats Khmer Rouge. Et ils ont également emmené des civils pour les amener au Vietnam. Do you know whether or not the civilians, Question. whether any civilians voluntarily si went with them les ont as opposed to being forcibly transported out of Democratic Kampuchea to Vietnam? 
emmené de force vers le Vietnam depuis le Cambodge. Uh, D'après les souvenirs, les civils ont accompagné volontairement les Vietnamiens pour aller au Vietnam. Attardons-nous quelque peu depth about this attack. sur Perhaps cette attaque. To preface it, Et en guise d'introduction, uh, parlons of the forces du rapport the two de force entre les deux pays. On page 103 of your book, page 103, You wrote that there are certain objective ceci. military facts Il y a certains that should have been strongly influencing the decisions of the leaders on both sides. First sur les was the huge disparity in the size of the armed forces on each side. In 1977, the armed forces of DK were estimated to total 70,000. The armed forces Comptez of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam personnes. were les estimated to total 615,000 personnes. Can you comment on the, how the various armies, the relative strength in terms of numbers, les forces en présence quality of weapons, des armées respectives, quality of, y compris uh, la qualité, la quantité des armes, l'expérience, Yes, the uh, Vietnamese uh, had a far more les Vietnamiens uh, battle hardened avaient and experienced soldiers, bien commanding plus officers, de chefs, de commandants, de soldats uh, as well aguerris as equipment, au combat, ainsi que uh, bien davantage de matériel. Ils avaient aussi une force aérienne. Les Cambodgiens n'en avaient pratiquement pas. Les Vietnamiens, oui, une petite force aérienne. Des chars aussi. Les Khmer Rouges n'avaient que des blindés légers. Les Vietnamiens, eux, avaient un grand nombre de blindés, des chars modernes. La disparité entre les forces en présence était énorme du point de vue qualitatif et quantitatif. Question. Je suis sûr que vous ne vous souvenez pas des chiffres, donc je vais vous citer une page. Les forces armées du KD étaient une infanterie légère, incluant quelques chars légers, environ 200 véhicules blindés de transport de troupes et pratiquement pas de forces aériennes. En revanche, les forces armées de la RSV incluaient environ 900 chars légers et moyens, 12 000 une force aérienne de 12 000 combattants, 300 avions de combat, un bombardier léger, un escadron, et huit avions de combat, 150 avions de combat. À that time, where had Vietnam obtained its weapons? À ce moment-là, où le Vietnam avait-il obtenu ses armes? At that time, most of its weapons would have come from the Soviet Union. La plupart de leurs armes à l'époque ont dû venir de l'Union soviétique. Some some light weaponry may have come from China. Peut-être que certaines armes légères étaient venues de Chine. Mais pour ce qui est de la force aérienne et des blindés lourds, sans aucun doute, c'était du soviétique. And what happened to the arms of the South Vietnamese government that had been defeated? Would imagine were mainly supplied by the United States. Qui, Can you avait comment été upon how much quantity and quality of weapons en et the qu est -il des regime armes in Hanoi que le régime had de Hanoi a pu se procurer suite à sa victoire en 75. Les Nord-Vietnamiens ont obtenu une bonne part des armes, un pourcentage considérable. L'essentiel des armes qui étaient dans les mains de l'armée du Sud en 1975, même si certaines de ces armes ont été fournies à l'Union soviétique pour que celles-ci puissent les utiliser à l'appui de mouvements de libération nationale, comme on les appelait dans l'autre région du 
monde et ceux sans que cela puisse être visible, que cela puisse être remonté à l'Union soviétique. Même chose pour l'après-guerre de Corée. Il y a des armes qui ont été capturées des forces alliées. Certaines ont été utilisées pour approvisionner les Vietnamiens du Nord. Question. Donc, cette offensive de fin 77, Nayan Chanda en parle. Il écrit dans Brother Enemy, E3 bar 2376, en français, 000 237 en anglais, 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 était, je cite, premièrement, les chasser de notre territoire, ensuite, asséner un coup dur à leur division pour leur faire comprendre que nous ne sommes pas passifs comme ils le pensaient et leur dire qu'ils doivent opter pour l'autre solution, à savoir des négociations. Le premier des objectifs vietnamiens qui a fait un forces sans difficulté, les forces vietnamiennes appuyées par un déluge de feu pénétrèrent like au Cambodge soft comme dans du beurre. Do you agree with Chanda? Can you expand it all upon Est-ce que vous êtes d'accord avec Chanda Pouvez-vous préciser quand il dit the Vietnamese easily que les Vietnamiens were able to overcome ont any DK pu resistance? facilement surmonter la résistance du cadet yes, uh, Réponse, I agree. It was, oui, uh, pour les Vietnamiens, ça a été facile d'atteindre leur but militaire au Cambodge. Les forces du KD n'étaient pas en mesure de mener une, arme, une guerre classique contre les Vietnamiens. Leur seule option était une guérilla. Ce qu'ils n'ont pas fait. Question. Huang Tong, qui est-ce Que pensez-vous de ce qu'il dit À savoir que l'objectif était de les chasser du territoire, de leur faire comprendre, je cite, que nous n'étions pas passifs et qu'il fallait choisir la négociation. Le président, veuillez attendre, s'il vous plaît. Please, hold on. I'm sorry, I don't recall Tong Je ne me souviens pas de Huang Tong uh, ni de son statut. Uh, yes, uh, je pense teach them, uh, qu'ils essayaient the, the Rouge lesson. de donner were, une Khmer Rouge une leçon. Acting, uh, in order to pursue a, Ils ont a policy, you agi might say, dans le cadre d'une uh, politique de dissuasion, Rouge, dirais-je, uh, contre les Khmer Rouges, et non pas le fait de les battre complètement, il fallait les faire souffrir suffisamment pour qu'ils renoncent ou négocient. Je vous rappelle ce que vous écrivez, page 102, 01001769. You said the decisive military penetration of the Parasbeek region of Cambodia by the Vietnamese army de l'armée vietnamienne dans la région du lac de Perroquet au Cambodge a initialement été arrêté peu après que la ville de Soyering, près de la ville de Soyering, après que les Vietnamiens eurent infligé une grande défaite à leurs ennemis. Prisoners, en janvier well 78, les Vietnamiens sortirent du Cambodge, ont emmené avec eux des milliers de prisonniers Penh, comme réfugiés civils. Leurs forces étant à à peine 24 000 de Phnom Penh, les Vietnamiens Cambodia. auraient facilement pu capturer la capitale et occuper tout le Cambodge. Mais comme ils l'ont plus tard expliqué à un journaliste bulgare, cela s'est révélé impossible pour eux sur le plan politique. L'objectif de leur L'offensive semble avoir été de faire mal aux Khmer Rouges et donc de tempérer leur agression. Fin de citation. Est-ce que vous gardez le même avis 
Yes, this réponse, my view. oui, je n'ai pas changé d'avis. Question, les attaques ont-elles fonctionné Autrement dit, est-ce qu'elles ont fait en sorte que les Cambodgiens changent de comportement et négocient avec les Vietnamiens No, it was not. Réponse non. Did attacks from Question. Viet, from Cambodia into les attaques, continue? les incursions du Cambodge en territoire vietnamien ont-elles continué yes. Réponse oui. J'ai évoqué certains télégrammes de l'ambassadeur du KD à Hanoï. Monsieur, connaissez-vous un dénommé Heng So Kiang K-H-E-A-N-G K-H-E-N-G alias Chin ambassadeur du KD à Hanoï. K-H-E-A-N-G Uh, no, sir, I'm not familiar with him. Non, je ne le connais pas. Question. À l'intention des parties et de la Chambre, il existe un document E3-2270. C'est un document de S21 en anglais 00784584, en Khmer 00086738. Et en français, 0081-0094, il est indiqué que Heng Sok King, alias Ching, ambassadeur à Hanoï, est arrivé S21 le 25 février 1978 et qu'il a été exécuté le 31 décembre 1978 et dans la liste 12927. Du BCIJ, il apparaît sous le numéro 12927. Le 15 juin 1977, il y a un télégramme, E3 bar 878, Khmer PRN 00001264, en anglais 01827770. De version française. Um, it that this was to Pol Pot, Il est dit que ceci a été distribué à Pol Pot, Yangshia, Yang Sari, Von Vet, Sun Sen et le haut bureau. Says, quote, on 14 June 1977, le 14 juin 1977, à partir de 20h, une compagnie de nos forces a commis une over a à travers la frontière sur une distance de 40 km, Sassien à partir de Sassien jusqu'à Dumchit, à Hatien. C'est ce que l'ambassadeur dit au sujet des plaintes so he's saying the des Vietnamiens. Said, he said, Our forces, Les Vietnamiens disent que nos forces, support, avec 105, ont mobilisé un soutien secondaire pour mener une attaque coordonnée contre leurs postes sécuritaires, massacrant et incendiant les résidences, créant ainsi de nombreuses, occasionnant ainsi de nombreuses so victimes. Is E3 Deuxième document, E3-8880. Il est en anglais 0018276. Et page suivante. Khmer 00012258. En français, 00623013. C'est un télégramme dated the 20th of July, 1977. I think the same distribution. C'est la même distribution. Et même this is reporting on a letter received from Sun. C'est une lettre reçue de Sun. It said, quote, it is said that on 16, 17, 18 July, Cambodian armed forces launched hundreds of mortar 105 mm onto the area with crowds of people in the Anjang province 
avec une foule de personnes dans le province well de Tchernobyl. From 16 to 17 gens, July, there were 30 people dead and 50 people injured and a large number of houses burnt. 50 personnes blessées et un grand nombre de maisons incendiées. Once again, Vietnam wants to clarify that Vietnam still wants to meet Cambodia to cease the bloodshed and maintain solidarity of both parties. Another telegram. Another telegram. This one dated 4th of August 1977. This is E3 slash 882. Telegram 62 from Chien distributed to the same persons. And it reports that the Vietnamese complained the Camp Chien army has committed mass killings of 1,000 ordinary Vietnamese people at Ha Tien in Kien Kien province. Another telegram Un dated a few weeks later, 30 August 1977, 1977. from Chien to the same parties, the in English, 00182762, and Khmer, 000001237. and in French, 00383862567. It's talking about, again, a protest from Sun, saying that since early August, Kampuchean army has invaded such provinces as Anguiang, Long An, and Tainin. Kampuchean army has killed and burned down houses, causing great damage to human lives and properties. Ten people were killed, including a woman whose belly had been cut open. And it ends by saying Vietnam would like to confirm the two parties as well as governments must call a meeting for a resolution in order to end the bloodshed. Now, sir, given all of these telegrams to the central authorities, Pol Pot, Munchea, and the office, did you ever come across any evidence that the DK responded by saying, oh, you're being attacked, we're surprised. These must be local commanders, we had no idea. Uh, no, I have not encountered such evidence. With the lack of any such response by the Vietnamese DK authorities denying that this was a policy of the center, indicate anything to you about whether in fact it was a policy of the center? The floor is given Monsieur to Consul Ong Takuse. Maître Ong Takuse, la parole. Oui, Monsieur le Président, là, je suis obligée d'objecter à la manière dont l'accusation pose ces questions. En dehors du fait que là, ça fait un petit moment que nous parlons des faits qui, je le répète encore une fois, ne sont pas objets du présent procès. Et quand je dis que je suis obligée d'objecter une nouvelle fois, c'est que je vais avoir un problème juridique sur quelle va être la possibilité de la défense à évoquer des points qui ne sont pas objet de ce présent procès. En tout cas, cause, la manière dont euh, l'accusation vient de poser sa question pose un problème, puisque j'ai compris, j'y reviendrai certainement dans le cadre de mon interrogatoire, mais j'ai compris euh, que M. l'expert n'a pas spécifiquement porté ses recherches sur euh, les euh, documents du Constitutif démocratique, même dans le cadre de ses recherches euh, au sein euh, des archives soviétiques. Donc, euh, lui faire demander aujourd'hui, lui demander aujourd'hui de confirmer que c'était une politique du centre, ça revient à spéculer, et non pas sur la base hein, de ses propres recherches et des propres documents qu'il aurait lus sur euh, la, la position des gens du Constitutif démocratique. Donc, j'objecte à la question. Thank you. One thing I'd like to note, merci. this morning and yesterday afternoon, ce matin, counsel for Nunchea asked this witness about these attacks. There was no objection from the Q Sampan defense. This was outside the scope. 
et la défense de la question 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 de la As to whether this witness uh, can speak to these telegrams, the witness said he did not review DK documents. That's why I read them to him. However, the witness has reviewed Soviet archives of the Vietnamese diplomatic material. And the question I'm asking him, and I asked him, he's, he's already answered. He has not found any response from the camp Vietnamese, excuse me, from the DK to Vietnam trying to explain, oh, we're very sorry about these attacks, we didn't order them, they're done by local commanders. So the fact that such response does not exist is obviously highly relevant. I'll, go, I'll move on to another question. Je voudrais quand même pour les besoins du procès verbal, le procureur vient de nous dire qu'il fait la lecture de documents dont l'expert n'a pas connaissance, Donc, documents à l'origine dont l'expert n'a pas connaissance, et il demande à l'expert s'il sait s'il y a eu de réponse sur des documents dont l'expert n'a pas eu connaissance. C'est la raison pour laquelle je pose une objection. Si l'expert n'avait pas connaissance de ces télégrammes au départ, je ne vois pas comment il pourrait avoir connaissance de réponse à ces télégrammes. Uh, he can offer a response to these telegrams. Uh, I think I'll just repeat what I said in the morning when the same issue came up with Nunchia, who presented the expert with lots of documents he had never seen before. I think we can trust this expert to warn the chamber in cases where he feels that he cannot comment on documents or in more context. He has done Donc, that. I'm confident he'll do that again. And he's the best one to actually know confidence. what is in, within his expertise and what is outside. Et and I'm also sure he will expertise. tell us de son expertise. accordingly, et inform us accordingly. Je sais, je, et je crois qu'il va nous, nous informer en conséquence. Sir, I'm going to move on to a question about events in early 1978. And this comes from um, E3 slash 1593. ERN in English 0115020201 and the next page. Kamai 00637942 and the next page. And in French, at 00639168, and the next page. This is Ben Kiernan's writing. On 5 February 1978, Hanoi offered Democratic Kampuchea a new proposal. It called for negotiations, a mutual pullback of five kilometers on either side of the border, and international supervision of the border to prevent aggression across it. Had Pol Pot's regime accepted this offer, it most likely would have survived. So first let me ask you about this. Are you familiar of a Vietnamese offer as late as February 19? for negotiations with DK. Proposition de négociation avec le KD. No, I'm not familiar with such an offer. No, je ne suis pas au courant d'une telle offre. He goes on to write. Meanwhile, the center pursued its military incursions over the border. On 14 March, DK troops invaded the Vietnamese province of Ha Tien, slaughtering and disemboweling up to 100 peasants of both Vietnamese and Khmer origin. Looking back over this period several months later, Phnom Penh Radio unwittingly acknowledged Cambodia's aggression. And he quotes the radio station, in March, the Vietnamese did not have the strength to attack us. Instead, we continued to attack them, unquote. By June 1978, three quarters of a million Vietnamese had fled their homes near the border, seeking refuge elsewhere in Vietnam. 
Meanwhile, DK officials had refused to even accept the delivery of a copy of the Hanoi 5 February peace proposal. Do you understand from the Phnom Penh radio announcement that in March, Vietnam did not have the strength to attack us. Instead, we continued to attack them. Is that consistent with what you know about the behavior of the DK? Avec ce que vous savez uh, in early 1978, en début 1978, that they were continuing to attack Vietnam. Uh, yes, that's consistent Réponse with what oui. I know. C'est conforme à mes connaissances. Is it? Bah. Thank you. It is now convenient time for the break. Le moment opportun pour nous de la pause. The will take a break from now until 3 o'clock. Jusqu'à 15 heures. Coffee sir, please assist the expert at the waiting room. Veuillez conduire l'espérant dans la salle d'attente. And invite him back to the courtroom at 3 o'clock. The court is now in recess. Le veuillez également le ramener dans le prétoire pour 15 heures. L'audience est suspendue.